We want to get to some breaking news right now. It was a busy fire, uh, busy night for firefighters from five different agencies. Yeah, crews joined forces to put out flames raging through a home. At one point, the roof even collapsed. Lena DeFlorius joins us live right now with the very latest out in the West Valley. Good morning, Lena. You know, and after that fire flared up, it flared up again. We're seeing a lot of neighbors here in surprise uh, taking a look at the damage left behind, making sure that it doesn't flare up again. This is what they're looking at. This home, the fire busted out all of the windows, broke some of the doors. Half of this garage door was laying some three feet away from the actual garage. So now they're boarding it up, making sure that no one trespasses, no one goes to take a look inside. That way, no one gets hurt. But you can take a look and see just how devastating the fire was by all of the damage and the debris that's been left behind here all the way out into the street here in the West Valley. Now, this started about 1 o'clock. Uh, agencies, five different agencies, firefighters from five different houses coming here, five different cities to put out this fire. Now, once they get here, they see flames shooting out of the roof. The roof collapses. So, in that point, they go defensive, not trying to save this home because it's already gone, but trying to make sure that fire doesn't spread to the two homes nearby that are right next door, just feet away. Now, because that fire was shooting out of the roof, the investigator who was here earlier says he believes this fire started in the attic, moving quickly throughout the attic and really destroying the entire home. We have damage from the front all the way to the back. And nine times out of ten, he says that that means this fire was probably electrical. Um, if we can come over here, I'm going to try and get you a shot. The angle's a little bit weird, but you can see how the roof is just totally collapsed all the way in the back there. And that's because this fire was so intense in the back. Now, that is the same area where where that fire popped up again this morning about three hours later. So they called Surprise Fire back out here again to take a second look, knock down those flames. The guys you see here who are boarding up the doors and the windows said that we've got to get out of here. You need to call fire because they saw the flames popping up once again. Now they've left for a second time, so they don't believe that this fire will start up again. They're able to board up the doors and windows. No one hurt here because the homeowners are on vacation in California, of all things. So they weren't here. The upside of that is that no one was hurt in this fire. Guys, back to you.